YouTube, what's good, y'all? Look, you know when you're designing a website and you use other platforms like Midjourney, Dolly, or even Leonardo to create your images, you got to keep re-rolling them, you got to upscale them, and then download them, and then upload them, and reduce the photo size. It's a pain in the butt, right? But Wix Studio has an AI image creator where you can generate those images right inside of Wix Studio. So you don't have to use all these other platforms. You can even make adjustments and edits inside of Wix Studio. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how that works in this video so you can really streamline your process and make things a lot more simpler and faster. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, here we are inside of Wix Studio. So this is the site that we've been working on during the series. So you can see some of the features that we've added here, including text masks. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some of the different create AI image features that we have. Okay. So I'm going to add a new section, then click here to add elements. So to open up the add elements panel on the left hand side, I'm going to click image. So this will give us a, a starting image to use. But what I'm going to do is click this create AI image button here. So it'll bring up this AI image creator here, which is located inside of the photo studio. As you can see, it is in beta, so it'll be improving over time. By now, you should be no stranger to generating images using AI, but this is cool because it's built into Wix Studio. So you don't have to use other services and then bring the images in. You can get them right inside of Wix Studio. So this is ideal for things like text masks. Let's say you need a background or you just need an image and you don't have one on hand and you don't feel like looking for them in a different service. On the left hand side, you'll see there's a box to describe your image. So let's go ahead and create some images. Right now there is no style. Then you have photo, illustration, 3D, pack shot, painting, etc. So we're just going to go through them one by one. And we're going to put in a simple prompt here. So I'm going to do a landscape image of a lake surrounded by palm trees in Orlando, Florida. I'm a little biased. <laughs> and let's do daytime. I'm going to select photo. Let's go ahead and create the image. Boom. This looks good, y'all. This looks really good. And something that I noticed that it did a great job of was accurately reflecting the top part of the image to the bottom. So you see the palm trees up here, they're reflected. And then you see the clouds are reflected really one to one. So this is a true reflection. So I'm just going to go through and show you the different styles that you can use. So if I click on illustration, let's go ahead and delete this prompt. And the cool thing is you don't have to be a prompt engineer. You don't have to create long and complex prompts like you do in other platforms like mid journey and even Leonardo. And it gives you an example right here. So let's go ahead and do this one. Let's see what it looks like. It made it easy for us. Just, <laughs> just so I can show y'all how it works. Boom. That's dope. That's dope. So I'll quickly go through the different styles and show you what they look like. So let's select 3d and let's just put in Fox and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's actually change it to simple, cute fox and see what happens. Oh, this is really dope. <laughs> Looks like the tail is disconnected though. So let's generate it again and see what it gives us. Oh, that's even better, y'all. <laughs> as a fellow fox, I approve. <laughs> so you can generate as many images as you want to get exactly what you're looking for. All right, for pack shot, it shows you exactly what that is. I didn't even know that was the term. <laughs> so let's do a clear dropper with light green background. Oh, that's nice, y'all. That's nice. All right. Painting. Let's do, let's just do mangoes. Love mangoes on the table. Let's see what it gives us. So I'm really just showing you what the styles look like, but you can come in here and play with it yourself. Ooh, that's fire. That's canvas ready. <laughs> that's canvas ready already. All right, for sketch. Let's do game controller on yellow background. That's dope. And I found that this is a lot faster than mid journey and even Leonardo on average. It takes between five to 10 seconds on a long end, maybe 15 seconds. But I know that's probably depends on many factors, but I've noticed that overall it's a lot faster than other image generators I've used for fantasy. Let's do wizard and a dark horse. Oh, realistic. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So for cartoon, let's just do woman sitting in office daytime, sunny. 
Oh, this is really nice. I'm just going to use the same prompt for the pop art as well. Nice, nice. I'm going to skip over background real quick and I'm going to head to collage. That's actually really nice. So I'm going to do the same thing. Bros and newspaper clipping. Oh, that's fire. So let's come back up to photo and I'm going to do woman sitting in front of laptop, sunny office. And then I'm going to show you how to use the photo studio to make edits to the photo. Oh, I love that. So all, all I've got to do now is come over here and click use image. Boom. And now you'll see all these other adjustments will activate so I can crop it, upscale it. Let's see what happens if I upscale it. Yeah, it looks a little more crisp, a little more sharper, and it shows you the image resolution here. So then I can go and adjust it, use the sharpness, add a vignette, even add some grain to it. Oh, that's fire. And they even have the auto enhance toggle down here, portrait, scenery, indoors, filters. I probably made it look a little worse <laughs> just showing you guys the different options. But as you can see, we have filters, we have object eraser. So this is beta as well. Keep that in mind. So let's see if I try to erase this mug and see what happens. It didn't erase it, but it changed it. I'm not mad at it. So if we go to AI image editor, we can change certain things about the image. So let's try it. So I'm going to paint back here. Let's just do bookshelf. Keep it simple. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. That's why you gotta love Wix Studio, y'all. They're always making improvements and making our lives easier. Because the thing is, this is all in one. This is all inside of Wix Studio. And add text, decorative elements, overlays. Ooh, I know it did that. Oh, let's do this flare right here. I can move it. Yo, this is nuts. Look, I'm literally <laughs> doing all of this for the first time so y'all can get my raw reaction. I had no idea. And these are things that I typically do outside of Wix Studio, like in Photoshop or Affinity Designer, I'll add things in. So having the ability to do it, well, one, generate images inside of Wix Studio, and two, add these types of adjustments inside of it, not only to the AI generated image, but to my own images that I can upload. This is a real game changer, y'all. This is a real game changer. And it's something that we would have been okay without, but the fact that they took the time to add these features into it, it just shows Wix Studio's dedication to us as designers. So of course it's not perfect, but it did a damn good job. All right, so let me go ahead and save this image. Boom, there we go. We have it available inside of the Wix Studio editor. If you're wondering, yes, you can download this image and expand it and do whatever you would like to do on other platforms if you wanted to and if you needed to. So you would just go to download and then you can see you can even edit it with Adobe Express. Wow. Oh, you can do your generative fill right in here, y'all. You don't even have to download it and take it into Photoshop. Come on, y'all. Look, I wish I had my camera recorded so y'all can see my face. <laughs> this is dope. I'm, I'm going to share this with my community as soon as I'm done recording this. All right, so we won't get into making all these adjustments right now, but let's head back. Let's head back. <laughs> Let me stay focused. <laughs> all right, cool. So one of the things that I wanted to show you guys was the background. Okay, so let's just click on background and do like a simple, um, smooth blue silk background. Probably don't need to type background because it's already background. It's a style, but let's see what happens. Oh, that's nice. But I want to do a text mask. In my last video, I showed you guys how text masks work. I want to show you how to use something like this in a text mask. So what I'm going to do, let's cancel this, leave out of here. So I'm going to do something like this. So if you don't know how to do text mask, definitely check out the last video. But it's going to go to the add elements panel, then go down to text, text mask. And then you can select from what it needs to start from. Okay, you can use videos, photos, and even gradients. So this is a video. This is, I believe, a video as well. And this is a gradient here. So definitely check out that last video if you haven't seen it. So I'm going to click this, come over to the right-hand side under design and do change media. And then I'm going to come down to the AI image creator here. And let's go to, let's do photo and then do, um, Burn plants, plants, not plants, and create image. Oh, that's nice, but I want it to be like more of them. So let's 
generate it again and see what happens. Reroll that joint. That's cool too. That probably could work, but let me just add plentiful. Oh, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. So I'm going to go ahead and click use image down here. Then I'm just going to save it and do change background. Boom. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So let's go ahead and preview this. Oh, that looks good, y'all. That looks good. And you saw how fast that took me. It was less than a minute. I just went into the AI image creator, typed in front. I even regenerated it a few times and got what I needed. So as you can see, this is really helpful for things like text masks or backgrounds, or if you just need a quick image and you can take it as far as you need to, you can regenerate images, edit it in photo studio, or even edit it inside of Adobe express all through Wix studio, or you can even download it and edit it your own software as well. So Wix studio is not backing away from AI. They're embracing it. And I love it personally, you know, between responsive AI, using AI to generate copy for your website. They just make things a lot easier for us as freelancers and even agencies. So if you want to check this out for yourself, head over to Wix Studio using the link in the description. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This video was helpful. Please hit that like button, drop a comment, all that. Thanks again for watching y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.